the news moves fast. So let's take a look at some of the numbers behind this month's major headlines. During February, Germany passed a law partially legalizing cannabis for recreational use. The law allows cultivation of three plants for private consumption, possession of 50 grams of cannabis at home and 25 grams in public. The goal is to weaken the black market, limiting criminality in the illegal drug trade. However, the German Medical Association stands against legalization with concerns about high addiction potential and interference with the brain development process of young people. Across the general population in Germany, opinions are divided. The legalization picture varies greatly around the world. In the European Union, Malta and Luxembourg are the only other countries to have legalized cannabis. Cannabis consumption is tolerated in the Netherlands. There, coffee shops are permitted to sell cannabis under strict conditions. In the United States, cannabis is currently legal for medical and recreational use in 25 out of 50 states, while it is legal for medical use in over 39 of 50 states. Worldwide, the number of cannabis users decreased since 2011. However, in the Americas, there has been an overall increase. The effects of cannabis legalization in Germany will be observed closely, and supporters are hoping that this decision will inspire other countries to follow. All eyes were on Nvidia in February, as the company released its latest earnings report. In its fourth quarter, the company posted record figures, generating over 22 billion US dollars in revenue. Nvidia's business, once centered around chips tailoring to gaming consoles, has transformed in response to the artificial intelligence revolution. Riding high on the AI wave, Nvidia's data center revenue increased more than 400% over the course of a year. Nvidia's GPUs have proved essential in the development of generative AI, with Chipmaker playing a crucial role in powering large language models like ChatGPT. Capitalizing on the generative AI boom has helped propel Nvidia into the third spot among tech companies in terms of market capitalization. Valued at 1 trillion US dollars less than a year ago, the chip behemoth is now worth around 2 trillion US dollars. This represents the fastest growth among US companies and occurred in less than half the time it took Apple and Microsoft, and the AI world isn't standing still. In February, we caught a glimpse of the next evolution of AI tools from OpenAI, this time a text-to-video model in the form of Sora. While not yet available to the public, Sora is already considered a step up from its competitors and reminds us that its capabilities are only going to grow from here. The unveiling of Sora marks another step in what could be the next frontier for generative AI. Reddit, the self-proclaimed front page of the internet, finally launched an IPO in February, the first social media company to go public since Snapchat in 2017. Founded in 2005, Reddit provides spaces known as subreddits on which millions of users discuss and follow particular themes, creating an information hub that acts as a loudspeaker for current trends. Around half of Reddit's daily active users come from the US, an almost even split between users in the US and around the globe. With so many active users, Reddit relies on an army of unpaid volunteer moderators to monitor content and ban troublesome users, stopping the site from descending into chaos. While payment is off the table, Reddit couldn't function without this moderation, so some volunteers could be given the opportunity to buy shares in the initial IPO. Reddit's revenue largely comes through advertising, and the company recently signed a deal giving Google access to Reddit's data. This will enable Google to train their AI language models for a reported $60 million annual fee. That would go some way towards plugging the $69 million loss seen in 2023. Economic uncertainty has caused a slowdown in IPO activity. Alibaba Group Holdings IPO remains the largest in US history, and Facebook's was the largest of the social media giants. To find out more about these stories and countless others, head over to Statista.com and join us next month for another round of Month in Data.